Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for clicking on this video. We have a lot of different things going on this weekend here at the Real McCoy Ranch. Uh, the ranch uh, is located in McCoy, Texas, about 45 minutes south of San Antonio. If you guys want to come hunt here, um, all the information will be down in the description below. We're going to do some bow hunting this evening. We're hunting quail this, this weekend. Um, but one, uh, one thing I wanted to do is several months ago, whenever the lodge was first being built, we I did some progress videos to show you guys uh, things coming along as they were being built. Um, since the last video, we're basically about 95% finished with the lodge. We've had one season under our belt in the new lodge. We just have some few little finishing touches here and there, but we've had uh, many months and one full season. Um, under this roof and so what I want to start out showing you guys was the great room y'all come in here Inside the great room here and as you walk in we've got a couple of tables for eating breakfast lunch and dinner We have one big table here couches an area to hang out and just relax in between hunts um, Obviously we've got the big TV screen we watch um, Hunting videos we'll watch sports whatever we got going on Right over here. We've got our coffee bar and then you can't have a great room in a big hangout area without a pool table. Big pool table, men's and women's restrooms here. We'll take a look at these. Very nice, Jerry and Brennan have done a fantastic job. Very nice bathrooms. Everything has been very well done. Uh, these white tails right here are native that came from, actually from this ranch. And uh, as well as the majority of these exotics that you guys are seeing. Um, Real quick before we walk out, I'm going to show you guys the big axis. We have loads of big axes just like this to offer here on the ranch. And again, the prices will be um, on the or in the description down below. Leaving here, let's go take a look at the, the bedrooms where your stay will be. Here is some of the rooms. Uh, we actually have three big rooms just like this for uh, you guys to stay. So we come in here. Uh, first things first. Very spacious, bigger than most apartments or uh, hotel rooms. Very nice queen size beds, not sand. Uh, everybody has their own little window unit, AC unit. So you guys are able to come in here and set your temperature just how you like it. We like a nice 68 degrees. And of course we have extra cots just like this right here in this corner to, uh, for extra people, extra, house, um, extra places to sleep. Right in here, bathrooms, shower, everybody has their own shower. And of course, you got, we provide soap, all that good stuff. Um, we offer three meals a day. We offer your stay, your um, all your accommodations, food, drinks, and then as well as we clean your animals, process everything for you from start to finish. We can even have your animal ready for the freezer whenever you get to your house after your hunt. So awesome, awesome rooms. Like I said, plenty of sleeping rooms and accommodations. Nice place to stay and hang out for the weekend. That's what we're doing this weekend. It's uh, October, or no, is it, or, no, late October, mid to late October. Doing some scouting, getting ready for a really busy season. Got a lot of you guys booked so far and we'd love to have more of you. We spend a lot of time hanging out here in the great room and we really enjoy it. Have a lot of fun. Get you out of the weather when the weather's bad. Um, like today, it's super windy. Keeps you out of the wind and in the air conditioning just the way we like it. So if you guys, again, are interested, everything's down in the description below, as well as my email. And you can send me an email. I'll get you all set up. But with that being said, we're going to jump into the rest of this video. Going to go make a midday sit. It is currently 11.50. So we're going to go jump in the blind, throw some corn on the ground, and see if we can't fling an arrow or two. <laughs>
Let's have a bit of heat. So one of the neat things about the Rum Quarter Ranch here is that we sit midday, generally from about 10.30 to 1 o'clock, sometimes 1.30. We still have two sits a day. We don't hunt early in the morning. We hunt that midday hunt, and then we hunt late in the evening, or just your know, normal evening sit, about three hours per sit, sometimes more, and depending on what time of the year it is and what we're seeing, and depending on also what you're after. So. Um, we don't hunt real early in the morning. We don't get in the stand before the sun comes up. We hunt midday and then late in the evening or evening. And the reason being for that is this property, for whatever reason, there's it's almost impossible to see anything or to get very many animals out in the morning. For whatever reason, it's when it's cooler. And it really doesn't doesn't matter what time of the year it is, summertime, winter, fall, or spring. What ends up happening is these animals stay hunkered down in the morning and then they feed late. And so our afternoon sits are always the best. Midday hunts are always extremely productive as well, but always better uh, in the evenings. But we are in our second stand. We set uh, the first one over there. We just actually got a brand new all seasons stand set up there. Um, almost all of our blinds here at the Real McCoy are all seasons box blinds, elevated, very nice, very quality, um, insulated blinds. And so we are at our second stand now. This is a, what we call the middle blind or the tower blind. This is one of our most productive spots on the property. I told you guys that we're doing some scouting and we are. I'm looking at a group of red deer uh, right now and they're pretty much right in the middle of the rut right now as well as some axis are coming in and uh, after some pigs more than anything, like I said, doing some scouting. So we're going to give it about an hour here, see how it goes, see what we see, and then we're going to go from there and uh, shoot a pig, hopefully. If not, it's all right, too. We got all weekend. And then we're going to go uh, put some quail out, have a fun little time doing that. It's kind of a vlog style video for you guys today. We're enjoying it, having a good time. So let's see what happens. All the corn's out on the ground now. <laughs> Is he running through the grass? Yeah, he's right here. He's trying to, trying to force his way out. Mondo, good shot. Good shot. Good shot. There he goes. Get him. Brennan. Good shot. I got him. Right here. Okay, bust him up. There, buddy. Good you fell in the alley, right? Yeah, right on the edge. Huh? I got him marked. I know where he's at whenever we get up there. Was there more than one that flew up? No, there's one more right here. Though. Oh. A, there's a quail sitting up in there? Yeah. Oh, it's right here. I can see it right here. Where? Keep walking forward. Keep walking forward. <laughs> forward. I still don't see it. Is this roosting? No. How high? Right here, keep coming. Keep going forward. It's not going to go nowhere. You see it? Mm -hmm. About three feet off the ground. Uh oh. Oh. See it? You blinder in the back. <laughs> see it? Oh, there's it just flew out the cool. back. Did you get him? No, he landed right there. I had one drop right freaking here on this edge somewhere. Hold on, I'm gonna go get that one. I ain't losing another one.
Good shot. Oh, oh, I'm stepping on him. <laughs> Isn't that crazy how well they blend in? We're still halfway alive. Not anymore. <laughs> That's the one you shot? Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, loud. Hey, <laughs> hey, there's one. There's one right here, guys. Let's walk up on him. Male. Be conscious of the house. There you go. God dang. Yeah. No shoot. I see him. Did you get him, Mondo? No. Behind them. There's one running. It's right in here. Oh, there's another one right here. Golly, there's a ton of them. Covered up. Well, Give us the rundown again. Tell me that again. All right, so we're out here. Throw McCoy. Four bees out here. We hunt some quail. We'll release the hound, hopefully. Get us some birds. Wrap them in bacon. No, what else? We'll flank them and spank them. Yeah, then wrap them in bacon. Then wrap them in bacon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you did. All right. Boom pops. Shake and bake. Ready? What do you got? Mm -hmm. Hold on, you got anything we'll interesting? Over one, right? Yeah, we'll just no, can't hit. Matter. Water fell out of the boat. <laughs> I get some birds. I'm just out here really getting in the way. Just one. Oh, he might be on that he point? No, really? That's awesome. He ran it down? It's not one we shot and couldn't find, is it? That a boy! Yeah. Look, I think he's on he's on another one. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, baby. Good boy. Come on. Woo! One right there. Hold on. Go get that one. I'm going to Yeah, buddy. Well, we just kind of decided to do a little bit of everything in this video. You guys got to see uh, a few of the species that we have to offer at the ranch. We have everything from oryx to axis, black buck, fallow, red deer, um, all dad, white tail, always plenty of hogs. We've got a great setup, guys, and this season is starting out to be one of our busiest and mo most packed seasons so far so i hope that you guys will make a trip down to the real mccoy ranch we're also going to be offering some quail hunts now as you guys saw in this video we had a dog with us for a little bit since he didn't have a shot collar he really wasn't wanting to listen too much now i left my dog at home on this trip for some dumb reason i left my dog at the house he is a pretty sharp bird dog and if we do sell some quail hunts and you guys want to come out my dog will be there and be available and it will be an absolute blast now these or pin raised quail. Very, very good flyers as you guys can probably see in the video. The problem that we had, uh, the only problem that we had I think with the birds was the fact that they would get in that tall grass and those strips that we mowed and they would hunker down. So we literally had to kick them up. Now with the dog, a bit totally different story. They'd get right in there on top of those birds real quick and it'd be almost like a wild bird or a wild quail hunt super awesome super healthy and i can speak from experience very tasty birds for sure i've actually spent more time hunting wild birds than i have pin raised birds and i can say that uh with the dog these birds these pin raised birds that we hunted and the guy that we got them from they're just awesome birds and it would be just about as good as a wild bird hunt so if you guys are interested in that that will be down in the description below as well or my email will be you guys can message me and we can set that up but all in all like i said just a fun hanging out 
vlog. Uh, you guys got to see the lodge. You guys got to see the, the rooms. And you got to see the whole setup for the accommodations. Still coming along. Got a few things left to do. We actually have an outdoor kitchen. that uh, It's a commercial kitchen that's going in um, as we speak. So it is very close. And we can't wait for you guys to see that. And we can't wait to enjoy it with you guys. But with all that being said, if you guys have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. Send me an email. Shoot me a message on Facebook or Instagram. All those things. Um, once again are down in the description but we hope to see you we hope to have you and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video getting back on a bunch of really fun stuff this week lots of videos coming to you i can't wait to share them with you but until then you guys are awesome thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in just a few days